Yes! Q&A time with lovely one. <laughs> okay, we should stop looking at the screen. Right. Hello guys, welcome to another video. This is a Q&A um, with my girlfriend Hannah. There's so many questions. This is a, probably the most questions I've ever got on an Instagram post. I'm only going to do like five or ten. I say that and I end up doing more of them. So, like my normal Q&As, I do an Instagram post and say, ask me some questions down below the night before and I've got 59 comments. So there was a lot of questions. Um, I'm going to pick sort of the best ones and we can go through them. Right. Let's start the Q&A. <laughs> so a lot of the questions are to do with how to keep a consistent theme on Instagram. There's about 10 of them here. Um, there's the first one from Tus. KVP. Do you think you can vary your type of photography on IG writing? You keep the same color theme, for example, take pictures of coffee and then nature or architecture, but keep all posts heavily saturated to maintain a theme. Love your content is sick. Keep up the good work. What is the best way to try and keep a consistent feed, content, theme? More about theme here. Consistent theme on Instagram in terms of growth and recognition and stuff like that. So the thing is, I've made quite a lot of videos on this already. Um, they will be in the description, you can go check them out. There's one of them which covers how to maintain a consistent theme on Instagram, and then I made another video, five ways how to stay consistent on Instagram. So you can go watch the one where it's got consistent theme, and I talk about how you can have all your photos and you can maintain the same basic. So in Lightroom, this is, this is like a Lightroom tutorial. You can keep the same basic as in exposure, contrast, and the tone curve. So if, if your basic is the same, basically, your photos will look the same across the board no matter what colour you throw and all this. But all the main details will be in that other video, so you can go down and click description, there'll be a link there to go watch that video if you have not seen that already. So that addresses quite a lot of your questions on here. Um, in terms of growth and sort of getting gaining that momentum within posting and sort of gaining followers and all this stuff, then that is my other video, Five Ways to Stay Consistent um, on Instagram Live mentioned five ways which are good points like engagement, post every day and use Instagram stories and all this. So that video in the description as well, go click it and you can watch five ways to stay consistent on Instagram. Right, let's take a look at some other questions then. First question not to do with theme and consistent stuff. Uh, Andrew Holmes underscore says, will you be releasing any Lightroom presets? No, I hate <laughs> when people release Lightroom presets because you should make your own and then save that preset and then you can apply it to all your photos. Yeah, you can pay $27 to some guy who's like got 600,000 followers and buy his presets, but then you're not learning how to do it yourself. You're not learning Lightroom, you're not learning your own style within your own tones and all this stuff. So no, I will never sell Lightroom presets ever. Do you prefer primes or zooms? And where are you going next? <laughs> uh, I, uh, I prefer primes if they're like really fast, like say 1.4 or f2 and stuff like that i yeah probably prefer primes i'm shooting on the 20 mil 1.4 now and that's my favorite lens uh where we go where are you going next well obviously if you've seen the title of this video we are going to the moldy <laughs> yes how excited uh, yeah i'm so excited so we booked this like way back in um oh, november. no october yeah uh, in last november. october november last year we've always wanted to go on sort of a sunny holiday and stuff um but I always wanted to go to like a city place first to like do some exploring. So we did Venice um, last year, September, um, and all the vlogs and stuff from there you've seen. And if you haven't seen them, go check them out. But yeah, we decided to book a sunny holiday. And so we decided to book the most expensive place there is <laughs> on the fucking world <laughs> in the world. But yeah, um, I've always wanted to go to the Maldives, you've always wanted to I've go. I've always wanted to go. Um, Indian Ocean is awesome, I've been to Mauritius and stuff, but I've never been to the Maldives, so... I'm so looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be good. Just just a beach holiday where we can sit down Relax. and tan. But I'm going to be vlogging every single day. <laughs> I'm going to be vlogging every single day. Um, it's like my normal routine when, when we go away, like I did in San Francisco and Los Angeles and Venice, I will vlog every single day. So expect some very cool content to come. Um, really excited to like just get a different vibe because my instagram and youtube videos are normally like to do with greens and mountains and stuff like that um so a beach scenario is going to be very contrast to what i film already so massive contrast yeah so i'm looking forward to that taking drone taking i'll probably um i am going to do a travel gear um essentials video to show you what i'm taking 
um, and there's some new gear as well which I bought over the past couple of days. So exciting to show you that as well. Yes, we're going to the Maldives. So awesome, let's get into some more questions. So yeah, I thought it'd be a good idea to sit down with Hannah in this Q&A because we are both going and she's gonna be on the vlog and she's gonna be taking photos as well, hopefully, and making okay. and doing some videos on, on your camera, hopefully. Another question from Hannah, Rose, roses, Rose, Rose. <laughs> do you use a stabilizer for your videos and what kind and why? Every single my video on my channel, I have not used a stabilizer. I don't own a stabilizer, nothing. So all the shots you see are 100% handheld. Even on my Canon uh, 7D Mark II when I had that, all handheld. Some of them might be on a tripod like now, sit down video, but yeah, every shot has been handheld. I do look into get stabilizers and stuff like the the one, the Zungi, no. It's, it begins with Z, the crane stabilizer thing, which is meant to be really good. But as Sony has like five axis stabilization and stuff, you don't, well, for, for handheld, it makes it very smooth. So no, I don't use a stabilizer. They're all for you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I said in the caption, ask us questions, but. I don't even know where. Oh, there's some of them that, how, how we met and stuff. We'll get, we'll get to them. Um, you're laughing at this one. <laughs> Uh, by Just Took Us, how much do you earn per month? <laughs> Two pounds? Pound. Actually, a lot of them are like this because when you do freelance photography, it's quite hard to maintain uh, an income every month. And that's probably one of the hardest things when you branch out into, into something that you want to do creatively. It's hard to get sort of money coming in every single month. So the way I've done it, I've, I actually work for a lettings agent which actually needs my photos every month. So every month there's going to be properties coming up I can take photos of. So that keeps me on the income and can sort of earn a living while still doing the stuff I like, as in taking photos. So I'm still doing the stuff I love, like photography and stuff, um, and that generates an income, a monthly like kind of fixed around about fee which I can get every month from that company and that allows me to sort of earn a living doing photography and then I can do other things like, like subsidize subsides like YouTube and um, brand work and other freelance stuff. So that's probably a key thing to find a company which will pay you every month, you know, earn sort of like a thousand pounds to two thousand pounds and that will keep you kind of stable and doing photography. You're obviously, if it's your passion, you can keep doing that and earn an income. So find a company out there which will pay you a fixed fee per month. I don't have to worry about I think. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're employed. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's very important. Um, he goes on to say, the most popular mistake of new photographers. The most popular mistake of new photographers? Question mark. Oh, okay. I would say that probably the mistake is not putting yourself out there. Before um, I was working for this company, I was on sort of these creator sites where you can find freelance work. And I did work for friends in clubs and stuff like this. Um, but you have to be on them all the time. It's like you go onto a job website and you scroll down all the jobs, all the jobs. It's basically like that, and you can find little jobs for freelance, um, and you have to contact them, you have to email them, you have to be on there every day to get work. So probably the mistake of photographers which don't do that, or just lack initiative to sort of contact people and get your stuff out there and say, can we do a deal, I'm gonna shoot this for blah, 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 how much, and get the deal sorted. How old were you when you got your first camera? This is the same guy. I was 15. I actually made a, my first camera video. It was like a, it's like a chunky, like compact camera by Canon, and it had like a 320 mil on it. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what that is. It's a, it's a big, like zoom lens that it had fixed on a compact camera. I might link it down below if you want to go check that out. It's like a, it's got, I think I think I called it my first photography camera. I was like 13 or 14 when I got my first. Like, what was your first camera? I don't know, like a really small Samsung. Samsung? Compact camera. Samsung did compact cameras? Or was it a phone? No, it was a compact camera. Oh, was it? It had like 12 megapixels. Wow. That's probably like 49 pounds. <laughs> now you've got a good camera. I've got a really good camera. She's got the A5000. I'm so happy with it. By Sony. It's a good little camera. And... It's perfect for what I need. That's the only so I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's the only Sony which flips up the screen. The yeah, because that's where I went for it. Yeah, that's where you went for it. It's the only one that flips the screen up. Easily, please. Yeah. When you decided that your life is going to be with photography? That's quite a good question. I think I've always kind of thought, well, from the age of 15, since I fell in love with um, photography, I've always thought I am going to be taking photos 
um, no matter what I do. And I actually worked in a lettings agents and I came out of that after about a year and I couldn't really find anything else. And I thought this is an opportunity now to sort of, okay, I'm gonna do freelance photography from here. And it took a while transition to kind of get an income and my name and stuff out there. Um, it took around at least two years to try and get yeah, that, that yeah, get that income coming in. But yeah, I've always had it in the back of my head that I am gonna do this. I am gonna be producing films and making videos and doing photography. So yeah, I've always had that in the back of my mind. Right, this is actually a DM that um, someone sent me. Um, what is your job? Freelance photographer. What's your job? I'm an assistant buyer at an IT company. Assistant buyer. How do you earn money? By doing freelance? Work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, work? <laughs> is that how we earn money? Uh, how can you afford to travel so much? So it might look like I travel a lot because my Instagram is basically one place and then another place and one place and another place. But mainly like we went to Venice and then sort of six months after we're now going to the Maldives. And just that's, it, we, yeah, we just, we just basically save and kind of take the plunge, organize it in a way and manage it properly that we leave money aside um, to save for these places and still have money to live. Very tight, but obviously we want to, Obviously, we want to kind of explore as much as possible as we can while we're, you know, still this age. And then hopefully down the line, we can sort of travel pretty much every two months or whatever, or like ten times a year. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. Where did you guys meet? What's the key to your relationship? Where did we meet? We met on the top of a hill in Berkshire, it's called the Ridgeway. I met you there. Yeah. <laughs> it was basically through, I don't know if you, any of you guys know, but there was, an, there was like a messaging s service called BBM. Oh my God. And everyone had it. Memories? Everyone had it. BBM is like, it's kind of like WhatsApp where you can put your status and all that. It's, it's, it was like really cool to have It BBM. was so good, it's all on Blackberry. Status. Before iPhones, yeah, before anyone had iPhones, we all had Blackberries. And the best game on there is Brick Breaker. It was so boom, that, that, those games on there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we all had Blackberries, right? And how we messaged each other was through BBM. And it was a free messaging service thingy. It but, was like on the Blackberry. Yeah, on the Blackberry. Oh, did it come with it? Oh yeah, no, it came with it because it, it was it Blackberry, Blackberry Messenger, yeah. obviously, yeah. yeah. So yeah, BBM. And then obviously, um, I went to school. Obviously, obviously I went to school. I went to school. <laughs> Um, and Quite mainly the, the, yeah, it was quite close and our group of friends knew kind of your group of friends and we like, so, and then basically back then everyone just added everyone on BBM. Um, I think my mate recommended to, to talk to you or something like that. Henry, you've seen him on the vlog before. <laughs> this is my mate Henry. <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait. Yeah, guys. But you can't, you mate. So, you, why not, mate? Because I feel like a puss, mate. What am I supposed to do? All right. <laughs> I've got like seven names for you. How shall I introduce you? This is my mate. This is my mate's mate. <laughs> this is my mate's mate. This is jokes. This is my mate. This is my mum. <laughs> His name is. Mate, mate, His name mate, is mate, Harry. I think I already had you on BBM, but you. He said, "Oh, talk to her and all this." So yeah, that's basically, um, and then, obviously, like. And we spoke for about three, four months before we. No, we spoke for ages. Maybe like two years. We spoke for ages. Three, three, four months properly. And then two years before that. Yeah, we were on, on and off speaking, yeah. But, it was just like... But like three months properly and then we met up in January or something in this car park. <laughs> <laughs> and then the rest is obviously history. That's that. Oh, the key to our relationship. What do you think the key is? I mean, the, the, people say like arguments are healthy, but I wouldn't say to go too far in the argument. There's a, there's a time where you need to stop arguing Stop arguing and don't this take- This is so rich coming from and you. And don't take it too seriously, because then, because back when we were, we were young, right? Because we, we were young-minded and stuff, we would just argue the whole time, we whole time, whole time. We used to argue so much. Um, and it got really bad, but as we've matured now, we can, some of, some of one of us would say, stop, like that, that's enough. Like, we just dedicate time to each other. And I yeah. think communicating, communicating is so important. Time, time's good, but then when we spend time without each other, it's also quite good as well because you can yeah. relax <laughs> and calm down. Right, mm -hmm. on to the next question. Okay, I've seen a few comments here because yesterday Sony Alpha released a new camera. 
and it look it looks sick. Question from Dun Cannon fifty two. Thoughts on the new Sony A nine? Are you gonna get it? Okay, so that Sony released this camera yesterday. Oh, it's like it's. It's the most crazy thing I've ever seen. It does 20 frames per second, so it's better than the 1DX um, Mark II and the Can uh, Nikon D5. They're like the big flagship flagship cameras, like the $6,000 cameras. Um, and then Sony comes out with 20 20 frames per second camera, and it's got this like no blackout, so you can shoot, 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 and it doesn't have the kind of shutter thing in your eye when it goes like that. So it's no blackout. It shoots 1080 120 now, which is awesome. They've kept all the 4K the same. So it's basically like for wildlife and sports photography um, to go against like the big boys at the top. And it, and it costs like, I think I heard around four and a half thousand dollars. So yeah, it's, it's a really like beastly camera. And it's like wiped Canon the Nikon out the, out the, out the water. Um, am I gonna get it? No, because I don't really need that. I'm fine with the a7R2, which is actually 42 megapixels. The new A9 is only 24. So I'd much rather stick with this um, with 42 megapixels and it gives awesome stills and video and stuff so there probably isn't any reason for me to buy the new sony a9 but i reckon I there's might. yeah <laughs> what you're into sports <laughs> no you're into wildlife photography no um but oh you've thrown me off and play <laughs> um <laughs> no no I was, I was gonna say there's obviously gonna be uh, a9s a9r a9s2 and all this so they might implement an a9 for video and an A9 for stills and all this, blah, blah, blah. So possibly in the future I'll trade up, but not now, I'm, I've only just got this. So I'm really happy with it still. And also he said, what about the new 100 to 400 lens? Oh, oh, Sony with, a, with an actual zoom lens now. A big high-end zoom. I think it's F 4.5 to 5.6. That looks um, awesome, it's a G Master lens. Um, Where's <laughs> your stomach? I'm so hungry. It's like ten past uh, eight, and we haven't ate. Ten past eight, and we haven't. And I've been at work all day. Eaten yet? Yeah, one hundred to four hundred looks awesome. Um, but I've just bought a lens. I picked it up literally about two hours ago, um, which I'll reveal in my travel gear video. Um, but yeah, the one hundred to four hundred looks 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 pretty sick. Oh, let me answer that one. Which one? A uh, question from Taro Med. Do you want to read it out? When you have a mundane life with a standard nine to five, how do you keep a solid theme without running the risk of repeating or having very similar shots? So, what yes. I do. Okay. You edit my pics for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I really fortunate that you edit my pics for me. But when you're not editing my pictures, I edit the night before, get everything ready, and then post it on my lunch break or something. And then I, yeah. if I'm having like a couple of weeks where my content looks really similar I just go back through my camera and pick out the pictures that are similar but aren't too similar so I maintain that theme but not having pictures yeah. exactly it's always the same good to... and kind of alternate between certain styles and types of pics yeah because say if you go out and you take a bunch of forest photos and then you've got sort of five lined up for your Instagram or six lined up I don't know if the majority like different kind of shots on an Instagram uh, profile, but some people do like just all the same stuff. So then in, then they know they're following a forest based theme Instagram account where they can see every photo is of a forest. But I think now people like to mix it up. I mean, there's loads of portraits and then there's mountains and then there's rivers and stuff. So it's always good to kind of mix it up. But my top tip would just be get everything ready so you can post it at a time that suits you because not everyone has time in their nine to five, yeah. To like, when I was working, stick with Instagram. Yeah, when I was working uh, nine to five, I used to actually post on lunch break, and then post when I got home. But oh, I, I had all the images ready, like I said. Yeah, I, I think that's a really handy tip. And, uh, the night before, and then I can, I know I'm going to post lunchtime, and then in the evening. And like, save it as a draft on Instagram, and then you're ready to post it. I think that works really well. Yeah, obviously you got to shoot the photos, so weekends yeah, or weekends. when it's the daylight. Saving, not daylight saving. Daylight saving. Yeah, daylight saving so it's lighter, isn't it? Now you're in focus. There you go. GMT. Well, daylight saving where it's <laughs> bright. Anyway, yeah. well, <laughs> nine to five. Whatever. Obviously, after five o'clock in some countries it's going to be dark. But when daylight saving comes around, you always get a few hours more sun, uh, mm. sunlight. Yes, or shoot weekends um, and keep that consistent shooting up so you have got more content to post. This, this is a good question um, from who? This is going to be the last one, okay, guys? 
who is Mirror Rose? That's his username. Is the Sony a7 okay to get into mirrorless cameras with, or should I save up a bit more and get the R a7R or a7 II? Just looking to shoot stuff with my mates like oceans, fashion, urban, sunsets, basics. Also, how is the a7 range with star moon shoots? Um, I think basically any a7 range is going to be okay for you. If you've got, if you like, can't wait any longer and you want the camera, buy, I would say probably the a7 II because it's going to be better than the a7. Um, a7 II, obviously more me megapixels, the autofocus is better and all this stuff. Moon, moon and star shoots, that's probably more to do with the lens. I mean, if you're shooting 20 megapixels on a full frame sensor, you're going to be good for star anyway. The lens is important if you've got to try and get a 24 or 20mm prime with a fast lens. Um, so you can dial it right down to say um, f1.8 or f2, there's a bunch of Sigma lenses and I think there's a few Sony which do a 28mm, f2.8 and stuff. Um, so to shoot stars and moons, you're going to need that prime and that fast lens. Any body of the A7 series will, will cope with stars, I think, because they're all full frame. Um, mirrorless are very good as it is. And yeah, you're going to get good uh, results. But yeah, if you've got the budget for an A7 II, I would recommend A7 II. Yeah, I would say also it depends on your budget. Hmm. Like, don't stretch yourself if you're only going to be shooting on a fashion yeah. and oceans and stuff. I mean, don't always... Go with your budget rather than what other people have and what you think you should have. Yeah. Because cause... you can always improve and you can always upgrade. Yeah. There's nothing worse than spending a fortune on a camera that you're mm. only using. No, that's right. So go with what you can afford and then if you enjoy it, you can always upgrade. Yeah, because say if you're... It's killing you that you want to get out there and shoot. Um, the, at that point, in that point in your mind, you should be like, okay, camera doesn't matter. I just want to go out and shoot and produce content and then make the best out of the gear you're u using. That's mm. very important. I've heard it everywhere. I, I say it to other people as well. You can have expensive gear, but not many people know how to use that expensive gear. You can have a shitty camera, but some, some people might use it extremely well and it looks like the more expensive camera. If you've got a really expensive car and you can't drive, doesn't matter. Same as if mm. you've got a really good camera, but you can't use it. Yeah, exactly. It's not, yeah. Gonna, it's not, it does, it's not gonna make a difference. Yeah, exactly. You have to be, you have to know how to use the gear and use it in your special way. So what this one, <laughs> just one here, another one from Insoist. I don't know how to say it. Nikon or Canon? None of them, Sony. Sony is the, is the boss right now. Who cares about Canon or Nikon? I've sold all my Canon lenses. I've got Sony and Sigma. Boom, you've got Sony as well. Sony yeah. is killing it. Not to be biased, but... Or anything. Yeah. Sony is biased. But yeah, but loving it. Okay, guys. Well, that is it. So, announcement is done. We are going to the Maldives. We are flying... When is this going up? Well, I'll try and edit it and get it out today. Oh, okay. Which is Thursday. Probably be Friday afternoon. Saturday. Yes, we're going to the Maldives, guys. Which so is, excited. Which is awesome. We're going to be flying Monday evening. And so, I'll get this video out. And then I'll get sort of a travels essentials video, which you can see what I'm taking. So that'll cover the two videos this week. And then I'll start vlog week in the Maldives. We're going for six days. But yeah, we fly to Doha, Doha in the Middle East. And then we go down from Doha to Mao. I don't capital. think that's how you say it. It is. It's not. Someone, I watched a video and she said it completely different. I, I looked at remember. the pronunciation. It's not Doha. It's, it's, do not, it's, not... it's Doha. Yeah, it's Doha. That's what I said. Not Doha. No, it's Doha. I said Doha. Right guys, yes, so vlog week starts um, from next week, next whenever. Next week. Um, yeah, excited to get a load of new content with the drones. I'm excited to tan. And I'm excited to tan also. <laughs> so shallow. Um, yeah, we just care what we look like. And we're gonna look really tanned on the vlog. We'll do a yeah. tan comparison. Yeah, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it give it a like if yeah, you enjoyed. Yeah, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll comment. see you Yeah, comment down below if, if I missed anything, if you wanna know anything else. Um, and yeah, what sort of content do you want to see for the Maldives? Because so I'm just going to be vlogging, kind of the same sort of vlogs I do normally, but comment down below if you want to see anything special. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thank you, give it a like, and we'll see you in the Thumbs next one. Thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye!